konnichiwa, it's Koneku here and for today's video I'm going to tell you my secrets to winning Instagram giveaways. But before we get started, please consider becoming part of my magical pastel online family and clicking the subscription button down below. Now I said secrets, but it's not necessarily a secret. These are just kind of some tips that I'm going to give you that I've noticed have worked really well for me. A lot of it has to do with luck as well and just being like on top of all of the requirements for the Instagram giveaways and I'm lucky to say that I have won quite a few giveaways on Instagram from both independent artists and larger online shops. This wig is an example of one that I won quite a while ago and I get asked questions about it all the time, but I won it so long ago before I started making videos, which is another great thing. My videos really keep track of <laughs> the items that I've won and where they're from because I usually put everything in the description box or on screen and also any sponsorships that I've dealt with, um, everything's logged in my videos. And of course, this video is not sponsored at all. I just wanted to give some tips and tricks to how I win a lot of Instagram giveaways. So something that I notice a lot with giveaways on Instagram when I'm going to enter myself, I often take a look at some of the other entries or like the comments on the original post and oftentimes on original posts accounts that are doing the giveaways will mention that a lot of people didn't follow the rules so tip number one make sure you follow all of the rules on the giveaway post i've done a few giveaways myself of items that I've wanted to give away uh, to people, whether it's wigs or stationery or themed bundles like Disney princesses was one that I did. And a lot of people don't follow the rules. Now as a s smaller account like myself and one with not, I usually don't get too too many entries. It's easy for me to go and post to people like, hey, like, you might want to double check that you entered everything correctly, that you followed all the rules that I laid out, or directly tell them what they're missing so then they can fix it. But for a lot of bigger accounts or people who are just really busy, this can be really difficult and they might post updates, but if you're not keeping track of their giveaway update posts that they're making, or if they post a regular photo but in the caption, it talks about the giveaway or Instagram stories now is where a lot of people are making quick updates um, also posting the winner and whatnot I've missed my fair share of chances like at least one or two where I've won a giveaway and didn't realize because different companies different people post about it differently so it's really important to keep on track with all that stuff. They might not necessarily tag you in the photo but in the caption and if you get a lot of comments or likes that might get lost on your own profile. So tip number two is to keep track of the posts they are making about their own giveaway whether it's on their Instagram or in their Instagram stories. Uh, especially when it gets closer to the end date for the giveaway. Uh, you don't want to miss out on having won the giveaway and them having to pick a new winner because you didn't respond within the time limit. It's often anywhere from 24, 48 hours to a week. It just depends on the person. Another thing I notice because a lot of accounts, including myself, will say that giveaway or spam accounts can't um, participate. And for me, giveaway spam accounts, I usually lump them in together. So it's like accounts that spam giveaway posts 
accounts mainly. Um, I have a side account that's my spam account, which I don't enter giveaways on, but if somebody had a side account and they entered a giveaway on, I wouldn't really like disqualify them for that. But some other companies and independent artists will disqualify you if it's not your personal or main account, which is also difficult for me because my cosplay account has done so, so well and I treat it as one of my main ones and then I have my pastel themed Instagram, Koneko Doll, which is, I, I consider that like my Koneko persona Instagram, so it's very like personal but like pastel. So for, th for that, my next kind of tip is when a giveaway is over and you haven't won, delete the posts or posts right away. That will clear up your feed and just it'll make it look nicer, it won't be clutter, especially if you have several giveaways that you have entered. Like sometimes I enter quite a few at once which can kind of boggle down your feed. Um, something that's helpful with that is if there's no like rules against editing your post, oftentimes I will kind of tweak it so the giveaway post that I'm posting is kind of pastel-y so it kind of fits the theme of my feed that I have going on. I think this is tip number three that I'm going to say is to make sure your Instagram feed is not boggled down with giveaway accounts and that it matches if you have a theme going on. Again, if your account is cluttered with really old giveaways or just a lot of giveaways, some companies or independent artists might see you as a giveaway slash spam account and that might disqualify you and you won't even be told, especially if they're kind of too busy to like let every single person know. Um, a lot of people say right away, these are the rules. If you don't follow them, then you're gonna be disqualified. And another thing that I've noticed a lot of companies are doing now is if you have won the giveaway, you need to keep your post up until you receive the item or you could be potentially disqualified from joining future uh, giveaways from them, which can be tricky because I'm in that habit of clearing out anything old. And especially if I've contacted them after winning an item and they get back to me and say, saying like everything's set up and they even let me know if it's shipped and then I'm like, okay, I don't need this post anymore. It's cluttering my all right theme, my decent theme. So I get, and then I like, I'm like, oh no, is that gonna prevent me? And it is a lot about chance and luck. So it's hard for me to say like, oh, I deleted that post too soon and I haven't won another giveaway from that company yet because I might win a decent amount of giveaways, but I also enter a lot of giveaways. So tip four, if you wanna win giveaways, is enter, enter, enter. Yes, try to spread them out. Make sure that you are blending them with your theme, that you are, that you, maybe you post a giveaway post, but then you have like another post that you post right after that is you know like a selfie or something like an outfit post something that matches your feed or just an extra post so that you kind of break things up i try to have a few like regular posts in between giveaway posts as well uh, and some um, giveaways will let you have your image in the swipe feature or in your instagram stories you, just look into all of that very carefully, but that would be my tip number four. Tip number five, I think. <laughs> um, I should have wrote these down in detail, but I didn't. Anyways, tip number five. Another thing that I've noticed is that there are a lot of people who will comment on the giveaway posts on the like owner of the giveaways 
page about how they never win a giveaway they they're gonna enter but they don't know why because they never win giveaways or there's no I'm not gonna enter because there's no point or like just negative self-doubt well even if a comments not required I'll I'll post something positive like thank you so much for this opportunity I know it sounds lame maybe but thank you so much for hosting this giveaway maybe congrats on if they reached a milestone or a goal and that's why they're doing the giveaway or like I really love your items this would be amazing it would be amazing to win this item like stuff like that like just little things you know sometimes even like oh uh, like good luck to everybody who enters and just being like positive and supportive of people I've seen it a lot on like the individual person who is posting and hosting their own giveaway stating about like don't DM me like explaining why you should win this don't or don't comment either like that uh, or saying like how you really need this giveaway and stuff like that just because like it even if you don't mean it it does seem a little bit negative and it can just kind of clutter up comments or DMs too and you know maybe some of these tips are just personal preference just what I've noticed but I thought I would share some things that I've seen and how I feel as somebody who's hosted giveaways just so you know it might give you a better chance if you try out some of this stuff I decided to make this video to help people enter Instagram giveaways and really any giveaways on any social media. I've entered a few on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube as well, but I've been most successful on Instagram and I hate to say it, but it might be because I have relatively high follower counts on there as well, even though a lot of people say that follower count does not matter at all. Well, I hope this helps at least somebody in winning future Instagram giveaways. If you've noticed anything that works well for you with winning giveaways and you'd like to share with everyone else, please comment that down below. Also, I am planning a giveaway bundle. It's got quite a lot of mix and match stuff in it. Very pastel, very cute. I always say that absolutely anybody can enter as long as they're able to share their address to me if they win so I can send it to them. But I will hopefully be posting about that soon. It'll be a separate video. Typically I post out a video and post an Instagram post about these giveaways and this time it'll just be one winner who wins the large bundle of items. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more videos about different tips and tricks I have for things, leave a comment down below of what you would like me to share my thoughts on and give this video a big thumbs up. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching! Bye!